Yep. Storm. First one. What's up, guys? Welcome to the first storm episode, stormy episode of the year. So, all behind me. I don't know what you can see right now because I'm shooting on the rear camera on my phone. But there's a lot of clouds right now. I wasn't planning on making a video today. I wasn't even planning on going out today. I was like inside working on my studio, working on the house. And then I realized it's dinner time. I didn't have anything prepped or ready. And my teenage son, who's constantly starving, came in starving and demanded dinner. So I went out, ordered some pizza real quick, went out to go get it. And I noticed all of these insane clouds. So grabbed the pizza, took it home, threw it in his face, grabbed my cameras, ran out the door. And now we're here. I'm really hoping I picked the right trail. There's some amazing stuff. I'm gonna do some time lapses, take some still shots, see what we can get, and burn off the pieces of pizza that I ate. That was a mistake. That was way too much. All right, let's get hiking. All right, well, I kind of misjudged that. That's what happens when you rush out. I did not check the weather patterns. I just saw the clouds. I did not check to see the radar, which way they were going. And I had, they were all back there. And that's where I wanted. That's the overlook that I wanted to shoot that way. Uh, but they all, went, <laughs> they all went that way. So now all the good clouds are behind me, behind this mountain. I don't feel like hiking over the top of that hill. There's some even more epic clouds over there. The only saving grace I may have is behind me. I don't know what the phone's doing for the exposure again, but behind me over there, we have some good clouds. And if that sun gets underneath it for sunset, That'll be really good. I don't even know what time it is though, because I haven't checked my phone, but I know, judging by where the sun is, I probably have a little less than an hour before sunset, and I really wish I was on that side, that side of that mountain, that hilltop right there. It'll probably take me 20 to 30 minutes to get either around or over, and that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna assess the light and see if I can't find a decent time-lapse composition and then maybe set up for sunrise, sunset. It coming through there, that could be pretty cool. All right, so got this going, time-lapse, R5. I'm cheating, I'm not cheating, I'm being lazy. I'm doing it in uh, time-lapse, the movie mode, movie time-lapse mode. We're gonna see how well it does. I'm really kicking myself because the clouds on that side of that hill right there are amazing. So I'm just gonna try to get those mountains lit up. So my other camera is back there. So let's go back over there. All right, so that was my R5 with the Oh, with a 35 set up over there behind us. Time lapse in that. And then all of this stuff still, I made a bad decision. All of this stuff still, all of the clouds behind me are moving that way. And it looks like the sun, if it gets under all this stuff, it's gonna light all that stuff up. And then that stuff is pushing too far. I did find, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but 
back there, there was a little cactus on the edge of this cliff. And uh, if we do get good light, that's gonna make a good composition with the cactus, the cliff face, dark clouds lighting up. I don't know, I'm really bummed right now. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be out though. It smells really good out here. Desert rain is one of the best smells ever. At least this desert rain is. The light could be amazing. I could be in the wrong spot for it. All right, let's see if I can get set up over here. Wow, it's getting windy. Didn't want to use the phone anymore because the phone's audio can't handle this wind. This might work out better than I hoped. That time lapse is pretty much done. I'm still kicking myself because all the light is behind the camera. All right, so let me walk you through what I got right here. We've got the R6 and we've got this cactus right there that you can barely see. And then we're looking there. Man, the phone's HDR looks really good. So what we're doing is I, you can see how I've got it focused. So I'm bracketing. This is gonna be an exposure bracket and uh, what you might call it, focus stack. So take the shot for the sky in the background. We're at F16. One, so take the shot with the sky in the background. We're at F16, one tenth of a second, ISO 100. Then we're going to come down here, focus on the cactus right there, and then we're going to brighten it up a little bit to where that's exposed. So now we're at a quarter of a fourth of a second. So I'm going to take that shot. The wind is causing this cactus to move, so I'm not going to be able to do, I need to do a faster uh, shutter speed basically. Man, that's getting windy. Okay, got the R5, that time lapse. Yeah, I'll throw it up for B-roll or whatever. It wasn't that great, but we're starting to get some really good stuff here. That looks pretty amazing. So I'm going to see what I can do with this. I do like the 35. I like that a lot. All right. Let's try. That's lighting up real nice. You can't see it. Jeez. I did bring my 70 to 200. I might need it. Oh, this is getting weird. I just, I don't even know what to do. Look at this. Look at that, that was crazy, huh? I just don't even, I don't know what looks good for a 35. This is one of those times where I need to be shooting and I don't know what I need to be shooting. And I've got two cameras that are ready to shoot. I'm just gonna try to bracket and get some of that sun. That's starting to light up and it could light up pretty nice. That's lighting up really nice. And I just don't know where to put a composition. Sometimes it just doesn't matter how good you are or how good your gear is or how many years you've been doing it. Sometimes, and I've got, geez, and I've got too many choices. All right, I got one last composition and I think I like. We've got this cliff. You can kind of start to see it right there. It's wrapping around this way into the frame. We had just a hair of the sun sunset right over there with some nice colors. Didn't light up the way I wanted to, but 
R5 35 millimeter uh, bracketed because the dynamic range is just getting a little hard and I want to push it too hard and the wind is picking up. I'm sure you guys noticed that by now. So 800 ISO, definitely higher than you like to go for landscape, but I'm not one of those people that's uh, obsessed with only shooting at ISO 100 for landscape. I think that's kind of stupid. You know, it's important for some things, sure, but sometimes when you need to get a shot, you need to get a shot. And ISO 800 on an R5 is nothing. Nobody would ever be able to tell. Blue hour back there is looking good. Now we're getting, okay, so we're getting, it's lighting up. We got the Alto Cirrus clouds, and they're lighting up above all of these lower lying uh, stratus clouds. So that's kind of a bummer. Especially because I don't have a composition for that. I'm glad I wanted to put the drone up more. I brought the drone, obviously. You guys probably already saw the clips, but uh, I only had one battery. I, I forgot to grab the other batteries. And the battery that was in there was only three quarters of the way charged. So it didn't last long. But it's too windy right now anyways. This is this is pretty <laughs> pretty windy. Well, I don't know if this stuff's going to turn out or not. I guess the moral of the story is maybe there isn't one. Just don't give up. I really like the color in the sky right now. I really like this light. I don't really like the foreground composition too much. could be better but I'm gonna go for it anyways I still have the cliff face going as a leading line so that's uh, that's something this right here is incredible look at this that's the, all those Alto Cirrus clouds way up there lighting up. There's the crescent moon. So I've still got this leading line right here for the R5 and it looks okay. I'm gonna try to get a little more color out of it. Maybe I'll, you know what, I'm gonna switch lenses. I'm gonna give that a go. See what happens. If I can put the 14 on and get more of this light and more of this leading edge cliff in the, in the shot. I guess I don't have to switch lenses, huh? I can just switch cameras. There. I just don't know if that was much better. It's just not enough light and not a good complete solid composition. But you know what, the optimist in me is still uh, very, very much enjoying being outside in this cool weather. It's already been in the 80s and pretty soon it's gonna be in the 90s and 100s, so very, very much enjoying this weather. It's just good to be out and I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna end with that. So thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for uh, watching me mess up for the last hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're still inspired to just get out anyways, you know, even if you completely make the wrong mistakes like I did, even to this minute, I'm still kicking myself for not going over to the other side of the mountain, the other side of this hill, whatever. It would have been so much better. Even if you completely mess up your location and your judgment and no planning or anything like that, just go outside. I've always said that photography is my excuse for getting outside. I mean, I've always been an out guy, outdoor guy anyways, but you know, the last 15 years or so that I've been doing serious photography, it's just always my excuse to get out here and enjoy the stupid windy conditions. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if I'm gonna publish this video or not. All right, we're done here. I'm going to hike back in the dark and I pack up all this stuff. Thanks for hanging with me. I'll see you in the next one.